Hey guys, I'm Janet on occasion, and today we're playing the Total War Warhammer 2 Battle Replay. So, uh, as you can see, um, I'm playing Chaos, and I'm against the Dwarves. Um, I find this matchup is pretty straightforward these days, um, but not in the same way it used to be in Warhammer 1, um, which is a shame. I like my old Warhammer 1 build, but anyway, we'll get into that later. So, uh, as you can see, I have a front line of Chaos Warriors of Great Weapons. Um, the max amount, I have six. Um, they'll kill anything Dwarven. Honestly, um, yeah, they might struggle against things like hammerers, but they're so much cheaper than hammerers that you, you know, you're getting a bit of a bargain. Um, Cause yeah, just armor. They have a lot of it, a hundred, and they got armor piercing. So yeah, dwarves don't have a lot of armor piercing. They have a lot of armor. So these guys go, they just go great here. Um, also, chaos trolls. I brought the armored ones. So again, they can't really be hurt by quarrelers, only thunderers. Um, also, you can see aspiring champions. They'll keep everyone fighting a little bit longer, including the trolls. Trolls tend to run away a bit. They've got pretty crap leadership. So uh, the aspiring champions will keep them going for a while. Also, Sartorial the Everwatcher. Um, if we have a look at his stats quickly, you can see he has 60% missile resist, which is hugely beneficial. So um, although, you know, he doesn't have a lot of armor or anything, you know, if a load of thunderers are shooting at him, 60% of the damage won't matter. So it's pretty huge. So also, I have two into Forsaken. These guys generally used for catching slayers. Um, but also, just great flanking maneuver. You know, they can do really well against things like rangers and stuff like that, which they can outrun. They're very quick. Um, 46 speed. So they can kill most stuff like that. So they're very useful to have a couple units of. So uh, very nice. And like all of this stuff is 750 quid. I think it's 1,000 for the trolls, 550 for the aspiring champions. So it's a lot of cheap units, to be honest. Um, and it gives me enough money to have a couple of Chaos Warhounds of Poison. So you can see here, I'm already uh, posturing, because I can see this one unit, actually. He wasn't very well hidden, so I'm sending one unit of Hounds around him. Because, obviously, I want to keep out of the way. Um, you can see here, he's got his Blasting Charges, so I want to make sure that he can't hit me with the Blasting Charges. So I'm going to go around him, and uh, I can bring this unit back in, depending on what I find in the rest of the forest. So, um, talking the rest of the forest, so there's mines with Blasting Charges, then there's also these Quarrelers of Great Weapons. So, Great Weapons... They're good at melee. That's it. They uh, they don't have armor piercing on their missiles. It's it's the great weapons are you know they have big axes as well as their crossbows. So um, other than that, they're normal quarrelers. It's just they're better in melee. Uh, well, better armor piercing in melee. So here you can see he's got a cheap front line, load of miners of blasting charges, he's got some dwarf warriors, and he's gone with a load of thunderers. So these thunderers are able to get a ton of work done, um, especially with the master engineers here. He's got two of them, and they'll be able to buff their uh, you know their ranged. Um, uh, capabilities, as well as having some good range damage themselves. 334 damage, a lot of armor piercing. It's going to be pretty good. So um, he's going to focus on range here. He's also got the Grudge Thrower and the Goblobber. So these guys will be able to do a lot of damage to my units as they approach. And he's also got a normal Dwarf Lord as well, so uh, he spared himself some money. Oh, he's also got some more Thunderers there. I'm not quite sure why they're there. But anyway, so uh, over here, um, I see he's got Quarrelers. So, uh, well, let's speed things up. So I can see he's got Quarrelers, but here I'm able to get into the rear of the Blasting Charges um, before they can throw any, which is great. Charge in the Warhounds. I'm hoping just to take these guys out nice and quickly, but honestly, even miners, they've got quite a lot of armor at 80, and uh, Chaos Warhounds are poison, don't have a huge amount of armor piercing, but my Forsaken are coming in. So, uh, as they're approaching, I'm going to pull both of my hounds out, I'm going to send one unit to chase down these guys, and the other one's going to move around and again chase down these guys while the uh, Forsaken deal with all the miners. So, uh, these guys, they're going to be another couple hours. Um, they take some time. And uh, you can see all these uh, catapults doing some pretty significant damage to my front line. But again, these aren't the most expensive units. If they were something like Chosen, I'd be really concerned. But they're just Chaos Warriors, and I have plenty, as you can see. So, uh, here, unfortunately, um, ah, let's uh, put on hide foliage. There we go. Uh, so, you can see the Chaos Warhounds of Poison are running away, and they are so quick by the time they recover, they've left the map which is a real pity. That is really rough for me. But you can see these Warhounds, they're actually pretty evenly matched. It's only because these guys' leadership was a lot lower, because uh, they'd been shot at a lot before they engaged. But these guys that came in healthy, um, they're kind of neck and neck, honestly. And that's definitely in favor of me here. Um, over here, you can see the Forsaken are still fighting the Mines of Blasting Charges. I really need them to get in and start fighting these guys. And unfortunately, um, I rush so much to do that, um, that these guys will end up recovering. Because they're so slow, they have hours before they went over the white line. Which is annoying. So anyway, my front line is going to engage. And uh, there'll be a fun little maneuver on this side. You can see he's sending his Dwarf Warriors out to try and intercept. So uh, getting a load of damage in with his Thunderers. I'm going to send my Trolls, both units of Trolls, over here to shut down these Thunderers on this side. And uh, yeah, hopefully that'll do. I want to go, you know, one side and then up and over 
is the plan. Um, you know, trolls are great just for smashing through. Also, they're taking a load of fire from uh, not only the thunderers, but the blasting charges, and they regenerate, so I'm not too fussed about that. So here you can see the dwarf warriors came out, so I sidestepped them. I just walked around them, and now I'm engaging. So here, I'm about to get on top of his thunderers. Um, I've got trolls, you know, approaching here. It's it's pretty rough. Um, my front line has taken a lot of damage on the approach, though, just because of the amount of thunderer fire. And you see Sartorial, despite his missile resist, is taking a ton of damage. Why well, say a ton? Quite a bit of damage. So uh, that's pretty scary. And over here you can see the Poison Warhounds, they're still fighting neck and neck, and the Forsaken are still fighting the Quarrelers. Unfortunately, the Blasting Charge is still going, which is very irritating. But hopefully, you know, I'll wrap them up at some point. So here you can see I'm going to use a um, final transmutation. It's going to it's gonna break these miners very quickly. They're going to get terrified away in no time. And also it's going to do some pretty significant damage to the Lord, which means I can start getting through into the rest of these guys. Um, here he did actually block two of my units with the uh, Dwarf Warriors. So although I completely sidestepped him on this side, um, he did a great job of blocking me up here. So Sothoriel's going to jump into the uh, Thunderers, so one unit's going to have to turn around completely, and the other unit is in melee. Still one unit firing, but, you know, Sothoriel can take some punishment. So uh, over here, Thunderers obviously can't hold out against Forsaken and Armored Trolls. It's just not going to work. Um, and, you know, Chaos Warriors are great weapons. So I'm going to leave the Chaos Warriors fighting these guys and everything else that's quicker is going to keep running along the top. So uh, you can see I've already taken out, um, you know, the sort of middle pocket here. So I've got my Chaos Armored Trolls running in here, my Chaos Warriors. They'll be able to start, you know, moving around. And uh, here, the rest of my lines have managed to break through. Those Dwarf Warriors are broken. Because although he managed to block them in a bit, Dwarf Warriors are going to have no chance against two units of Chaos Warriors with great weapons. So here, um, stuff starts terrifying. So, uh, yep, load of stuff terrified and broken. Um, even the Lord is uh, is about to break here. Um, I'm pretty happy with these two units to fight him. They can fight him easy. You know, there's no problem there. Um, you know, he'll get a few kills on them, but they'll win eventually. So um, that's fine. Over on this side, you see the Warhounds did win against the Quarrelers, and uh, the Forsaken have beaten off both of those other two units. So, um, so I wrapped all that up, but honestly, I think that was pretty even exchange, honestly. Um, you know, in terms of cost, um, it might have even been a bit more expensive for me, but still, it was utility he couldn't bring over here, you know, more Quarrelers and things firing at my units. So that was good. So here, um, I have plenty of units just to escort things off the battlefield, so uh, I'm going to have South Oriel and the Forsaken and these uh, Chaos Warriors just, just escort all these units off. A load of units are shattered. Over here, um, my Chaos Warriors are fine fighting these Dwarf Warriors. I've got Forsa uh, Aspiring Champions and two units of Chaos Warriors fighting him. That's not a problem. These Trolls can beat the uh, Master Engineer on his own, and uh, now the Trolls are coming in here to help as well. There's no hope. You know, even if the Engineer comes in here, there's just, yeah, there's no hope there. So um, you'll see he uh, realises this and quits. Because, uh, I mean, he's lost at this point, hasn't he? So, fair enough. But, um, yeah, close victory, apparently. So, um, yeah, I mean, wow, that's crazy. I only lost 200 men. Um, but, yeah, it's it's pretty pretty tough, this matchup, if you just go wide with armor piercing. You just go, right, what's got armor piercing? What else do I need? Well, Slayers don't have armor, so I need something quick. So, you know, bring Forsaken. Forsaken will also be able to deal with the ranged units, so that's cool. Let's bring a couple of units of them. They can flank. And, um, yeah, I guess I'll have some trolls, some extra punch, in case, you know, they have a very sturdy front line. I need to run through it in order to get to their, you know, ranged units. So trolls will do well there. I'll make sure they're armored so the infantry can't hurt them that much. Brilliant. Uh, South Thoriel, yeah, final transmutation will do some pretty sturdy damage. Um, unless he brings a rune smith, but you know, well, not a rune smith, a rune lord for those, but either way, he'll be hard to kill. So, you know, that'll be nice. He'll be able to jump up and down in formations. He'll cause terror, so that's all good. And uh, I guess Chaos Warhounds are poison in case I really need to get on top of some artillery or chase some rangers down. Cool. Kind of got everything. Everything covered. Um, can't think of any dwarf units that this wouldn't have worked against, honestly. Um, maybe if you had. I don't know, longbeards in the front, so their immune psychology, the terror wouldn't have mattered. Um, you know, if you had longbeards with great weapons, they'd actually perform pretty well against the Chaos Warriors. It'd be fairly even. Um, you know, maybe a runesmith or something just to buff, um, you know, get the damage negation in there, get the rune of wrath and ruin on these guys. Um, you know, for the trolls, maybe have a, um, a troll hammer torpedo or two. That might be quite good. Um, yeah, so I mean, yeah, still. I, I mean, it's basically just, it's going to be even. You know, it's going to be sort of an even field against them, because you can still just bog stuff down with the quicker units, and it's it's rough. It's very rough. Um, yeah, yeah, this army kind of just does it. Um, it's quite difficult for dwarves to counter this kind of thing, because the infantry just performs so much better, but so much cheaper. These guys are just purpose-made for killing dwarves, it seems. So um, it's pretty tough. But if I'd gone with a Warhammer 1 build, which is the one I kind of miss, actually, against dwarves, um, I used to bring just a load of Chaos Marauders with great weapons. But frankly... All Dwarven Infantry will just kill them now. 
they'll kill them so easily. Um, and any ranged units, even just, you know, rangers, which are a lot more popular these days, um, you know, and Bugman's rangers especially are very popular. Um, yeah, they'll just get chewed to pieces and your front line will be completely slaughtered. Um, but I used to do that so I could bring a lot of big monsters. But the dwarves have got loads of tools for slowing things down now, which this guy didn't actually bring. Um, but the miners are blasting charges. Those blasting charges are going to decimate the, um, you know, that sort of marauder front line. And he has so many handgunners, he could deal with the big stuff very easily. But yeah, it's uh, this is definitely good against a Warhammer 1 build. Warhammer 2, I don't know what you bring especially to deal with this kind of stuff. It's just... It's just too sturdy, it's too reliable. So, um, it's very difficult. Um, I think Runesmith's probably the way to go, rather than Engineers. But, um, but still, this would have gone great if I'd brought sort of the Warhammer 1 chaos build of loads of marauders of great weapons, and then, you know, Shagaths and Kolek, right? You know, the big stompy things, a load of trolls in the front line for some added punch. Um, you know, he could have just shot them all to hell. Um, that would have been really quite painful. So, um, yeah. Yeah, it's a shame. Just this just seems to counter dwarves very, very successfully these days. Um, whereas before you could do a few more things with it. Now it's just sort of this is your panacea against dwarves. Whereas before you could kind of go with the lighter infantry and try and get you know more cost-effective engagements and use the big monsters to do the damage. Now they just have too many. You know the dwarves have too many things that can pin stuff in place. So the big expensive units you can never get value out of. So instead you just bring a lot of cheap units. Well, not cheap, mid mid range ones that'll just be cost effective. It's it's kind of it's I don't know I don't know. You just you're a bit limited with chaos now against the dwarves, which is sad. But still, you know, it's a lot of fun. So guys, if you enjoyed this, please do comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Have a good day, guys.